Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jake the Fate, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install this Seymour Duncan Blackouts Modular Preamp. All right, so here I have the Seymour Duncan Blackout Modular Preamp. You know, this thing is awesome. I've actually owned this in the past before because I did buy the, uh, uh, the Gus G Seymour Duncan pickups because I'm a huge Gus G fan and I love his playing and his style and everything, so I had to get his pickups. But I made the mistake of taking these out to see what they sounded like without the preamp on a different guitar. And I left that in there and I put another set of pickups on that guitar. And then I eventually ended up selling the guitar and I completely forgot about that thing. And that was like probably like a year ago. I ended up just ordering the kit here. So what comes in the package is just the, uh, the preamp. And I'm doing this video just because I haven't really seen a lot of like tutorials on how to install this on youtube or anything i've seen the seymour duncan one that they have but it's you know pretty old and it's like it honestly it really didn't really help me a lot when i was trying to do it and i'm more of a visual person that i like to see things and be able to do them like that so so i decided to why not make a video on this in case there's anybody out there that bought one so what this preamp is basically you can convert any passive pickup into an active pickup so the difference between an active pickup and a passive pickup is that the passive pickup is that they wind the coil to, depending if you want a high output or low output, you know, it really all depends. But in metal guitars, like what I usually play, like metal guitar playing, they kind of overwind it. And then they'll put in like a ceramic magnet or an Alnico 5 or Alnico 8, just to give it a little bit more output. So with the active pickup, they kind of like just underwind it and then they put a preamp to boost up the, the output and you know, whatever, usually it's like ceramic. I think this one's an Omnico or something like that. This one's like the Super 77, I think it was. But yeah, as you can see here, there's like a little circuit board in there. So what this does, this is basically adding that preamp to your pickup already. So instead of it just being like this, you know, you have this separate and you can just put any pickup you want, which is amazing as hell. You're basically converting your passive pickup into an active pickup, giving it more output, giving it more power. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome thing. Like an active pickup lover, which, you know, I am. I love EMGs and I love my blackouts. So I'm going to show you guys how to install this thing into your guitar. Here's what comes in the package. You get the little preamp uh, volume pot thing. You get a 25K... Uh, tone pot here now i do want to mention something in my how to solder emg pickups video i said 250k pot i meant 25k pot and that was a mistake that somebody corrected me on in the comment section so highly appreciate that but that also you need a 25k pot uh for this to work accurately package here you get all the stuff you need you get the the audio jack you get the battery clip, you got a few extra wires, the capacitor, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And they even give you a little screw, flathead screwdriver, for, for you to adjust this stuff here, which is really convenient. And they also give you a little wiring diagram. If you're gonna be just doing what I'm gonna be doing today, just one tone with this, with the switch, the pickups, or a Les Paul wiring. Explains everything that I'm going to explain to you guys. So as you guys can see right here on this side, this is going to be your ground. There's a little terminal right here. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but this is going to be your ground terminal right there. Uh, this is going to be your pot signal out on this second one. This is going to be your pot signal in on this one right here. This terminal right here is going to be another ground. This is going to be your output two. This terminal right here is going to be where your uh, your nine volt battery goes out. Another ground right here, and then your output one right here. And then on this side right here is where you connect your pickups into. So when I get to that, I'm going to show you guys where each of those go. So I'm going to get started on this side first, and I would suggest you guys to do this outside of your guitar first, so you guys are not crammed up inside of the cavity. All right. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect all the grounds first. And for the three-way selector switch, what I'm going to use is this uh, 
this cheap little circuit board one. Because the guitar that I'm going to be installing this in is if you guys saw my last video, I did a review and demo on the Donner DMT 100 W. So I am going to be putting this into that guitar just because uh, why not? Right. And I'm going to be using the original three way switch that came with it. And if you guys are going to be doing this with like the three way selector switch, I don't have one. That's like a regular one. This is the EMG one. And a few people were asking me if this came with the kit. No, I actually bought this separately uh, when I made that how to install EMGs into your guitar. But yeah, I got this one separately. But if you guys are going to be doing this with a three-way selector switch like this, I'm going to like try to explain it once I have everything wired up where each of these wires are going to go. If you guys have a selector switch like this. So they give you these two wires, these two black and white wires. Uh, what I'm going to do is just cut these in threes because you're going to need a few extra more wires if you guys are just going to be using the wires that come with the kit itself. So uh, they're about maybe 12 inches, 13 inches around there. So, you know, just divide that into three and just cut these into threes. You get all these wires and we're going to just start connecting. Yeah, hello, hi. And what you're going to want to do here is just, you know, lightly scuff this up. So the solder can stick to it, just regular sandpaper. Boom, like that. Now what you're gonna wanna do is connect your grounds. And on that guitar, it's gonna be a little bit closer. So not too worried about the wires not reaching. This black one to the top of this pot right here. And then another black one to the top of that pot here. So it goes grounded onto your Selector switch right there. Okay, so we got our grounds connected. Something I should have done before this was put this uh, capacitor in. So what you're gonna wanna do with the capacitor is put it right in this second prong right there. And this terminal right there, and then connect the other one right on top. Okay. What we have so far is the ground connected from the selector switch to the pot and this is going to go into the preamp and then we have this capacitor from the from the top of the pot to the middle of this terminal right here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this white wire from this terminal here onto to the output of the three-way selector switch which on this one is the center one you guys are going to be doing it with this switch you would connect it like right here in the center so if you guys are doing it like this, center to that right there. Actually, what I'm gonna do is just connect this one. This one's gonna go right there. Just ground that off right there. All right, so this is what I have here so far. I have the ground connected from the three-way selector switch onto the pot, from the pot onto this first ground terminal right there. You guys can see it right there, it goes right there. And then I have the output signal coming to the output signal right here onto this third prong right there. And then in the center right here, I have the capacitor on top of the pot. So now what you're going to want to do is get another white wire and connect it to the output of the three-way selector switch right here. And then the other end is going to go into the pot signal in right here, like that. So what you're going to want to do now is get two white wires and you're going to want to try to find extra, wi extra wires because what came with the kit is not gonna be enough. And I just realized that as I was doing this. So luckily, you know, I have wire laying around. You're gonna connect this into the pickup neck and bridge right here. All right, so it's been a couple of days since I was working on this, but I think the last thing I did was uh, solder the leads for the pickups. So again, if you guys are gonna be doing it with this kind of switch, uh, basically you just connect these two onto one of these two prongs. This one doesn't have it, but you can see that it's like right there, but 
since that circuit board's there. But you just connect this wire here, this wire there, and then the two in the center, they go right there. And then that ground just basically goes right there. And that would be all if you guys were using this kind of switch. Bada bing, bada boom, done. So you're gonna grab this wire right here and you're gonna put that right there where it says output two right there. Then I'm gonna grab this other white one and put that where it says output one right down here. All right, so what we have here so far is we have our grounds connected from the selector switch to the top of the pot, from the top of this pot to the preamp right over here. And we have our outputs going from this uh, terminal right here to this output right here. And then from this output of the preamp onto this. And then we have our pickup leads, which go to the output one and output two on the preamp. <sighs> you guys following? I hope so. So I think I said audio jack earlier, but I meant stereo jack. I've already explained how the stereo jack works on the other videos that i've made but basically this prong right here is your output this is your ground right here and this is where your battery gets connected all right so how i just explained the white one which is your output goes right to this uh, prong right here and then you got the ground one and then you have the battery for the battery clip right over here so this wire right here is going to go where it says pot signal out so that's going to go right over there boom right there now this black ground is going to go right here where it says ground right there. So now all that we're left with is this red battery 9 volt, which where it says positive 9 volt. This red one goes right there. And that right there is the entire wiring for this circuit right here. So the pickups I'm gonna be putting into this guitar are the Seymour Duncan Mayhem set. I've had these pickups for maybe a year and I haven't even used them. So I'm actually really excited to see what they sound. So what I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna do a demo of how the original pickup sound on the guitar and then put these in without this circuit and then put the circuit in and try to hear the difference between all three of them. So now I'm gonna show you guys is where each of these wires go onto the preamp right there. So I'm gonna get started on the neck pickup. So the neck pickup is on this side. If you're looking at, if you're looking at it this way, your neck pickup and your bridge pickup. So you're gonna grab your black one. Your black one goes right into that first terminal right there. Then you're gonna grab your white one and put it right next to that one right there. And you guys don't have to go too hard turning this thing in there just like tight enough just so you guys don't strip it then we grab the red wire and that one goes right next to the white one and grab this green one goes right next to this red one right there We grab our last bare wire and that one goes right there next to that green one. And for the bridge pickup, you kind of want to work your way backwards. So you start with the bear right next to that bare wire right there. You put that one right next to it. Like that. And you grab your green one and you put that one right next to the bare one right there that i would say to strip them back a little bit because it does kind of come out a little bit if you guys don't want to have any problems sorry my camera died but what i was explaining was i would say just to cut these back like in half so it doesn't really stick out that much if you guys don't want any wiring problems i would say just to cut that back but for now since i'm just explaining it i'm just going to leave it like that but i am going to cut these back a little then you put this red one right next to the green one right here. You see what I'm saying? Like that's gonna touch and then you're gonna have grounding problems right there. But you put this red one right here. Then you grab this white one, put that right next to the red one. Then you grab this black one and you put it on the last terminal right there. So here you have your bridge pickup. So you have black, white, red, green and bare 
And on your neck pickup over here, you have your bear, your green, your red, your white, and then your last one's your black one right there. So now that all there is to do is plug in a battery, plug it in and test it out to see if this thing works. Okay, your sound. Very good, very good. Check the tone. Beautiful. Now all I'm gonna do is take this all apart and do a demo on it. But first I'm gonna, like I said, the pickups that came in the guitar, then I'm gonna do these pickups without this preamp and then do the preamp so we can compare all of those and see what the difference is between those pickups with these pickups and then these pickups from being passive to actives. All right guys, so real quick, this is what I was talking about in my last video. If you wanna put Seymour Duncan's on this guitar, I basically just like spliced this thing onto this, put the bear in the green and the black for like the hot lead and just close those off with like some heat shrink tubing. And it works just fine as you guys can see right here. I've got them installed already. So I hope that helped you guys if you guys are trying to install a blackout preamp onto your guitar. It has been a few days since I installed this into the guitar. As you guys can see here, I installed a kill switch. And I also installed this little battery compartment. Had to route it out and everything, but very convenient. Just so I can not have to worry about having to open this up and you know getting wiring problems in there because everything's just so jumbled. So it gave me that extra space to put this kill switch. I don't do it to most of my guitars, but the guitars that are like you know affordable. I don't mind, you know, routing an extra hole in there and putting a kill switch or an extra switch or something. But was there a difference in those tracks? I did hear a difference between the, obviously, the stock pickups and these uh, Distortion Mayhem pickups. Honestly, I think the pickups without the preamp sound amazing. But it all depends if you're trying to get that blackout or any active uh, pickup sound or tone. You know, it's perfect, you know, because I did hear the mids and the lows, you know, compressed in there but in a mix i don't think you would honestly really hear the difference hearing it like just alone like in a solo track you do hear the difference so if this video helped you guys in any way shape or form make sure you guys like this video comment subscribe for more videos like this 
reviews because that's all I do on this channel. With that, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one.